egg man. No way off the hook this time. So anyway, no starting back. Yeah, I like what Sonic said. I'm gonna turn down TV a tad bit. So we're back. I think. Are we back? Or are we front? There's a meme and it says nothing like uh, some bananas and ketchup to start the morning off right. And it's just got the picture from one of the peas and veggie tails and it says, What you have done has made God very unhappy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uncomfortable. Uh. <laughs> so anyway, now we're in the frog forest. Right? Because you know there's an A there. Well, you know what? We should we should get a picture of, of the of the of the of the frog forest, and we'll color it with the crayons and found a picture, and it says uh, <coughs> it says that apparently now one euro is worth 0.99 U.S. dollars, which means U.S. dollar is worth more than the euro. Yeah. And so then the guy posting it just said, it's called soccer now. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Let go of the ivy when it reaches the highest point of its swing, okay? Yes! Huh? See how many lives do we have here? I think we're gonna lives. Well, unless you die a lot. Basically, the uh, East Coast version of Comic Con. <laughs> I don't know if it's as big. You ever been to Comic Con? Uh, but uh, I mean, it was many, many thousands of people. <laughs> lines to get in, like yeah, like the vendor hall, which was four stories high in the Atlanta Ameritrade building. And, uh, you you could wait in line for an hour plus just to get in there because there were so many people trying to get in. Like, it wasn't even some, you know... Like, it was just... The limit was fire hazard based. <laughs> Not some kind of, like, you know... Chinese lung herpes freaking restriction because, you know, someone might cough. I mean, it was... There were literally just so many people. <laughs> Let's see. Pretty cool, though. I ended up getting that. Neo Pixel Saber. Can't tell our dad about it yet because I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> For perspective on a Neo Pixel Saber, after tax, it's about four hundred dollars. Awesome. Yeah. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> oh. They're pretty sweet though. I won't lie. Neo Pixel Saber is pretty good. <laughs> Over the last part of Ultra Saber Company. Level up. Did you level up though? I like how I don't know. I forgot what I like. This is sweet. Who would ever think this thing could float in the air? Whoa! Exactly, Crash. Yes. Oh. Watch out! Back when uh. Oh no! <laughs> back when uh, me and Corey played this, this was the we were playing the GameCube version. There you go, that's the, that's the information, of the, that's the interesting information of the day. Uh, I like how these are essentially just bigger versions of Froggy, <laughs> in a way. Froggy. It's really steep here, be careful. So, so Andrew got me a Sonic X collection. Or, you know, the, the series on Blu-ray. Yep, also from, um, from Dragon Con. Yeah. As, well, we'll, we'll just ignore that one. <laughs> no, um, but, like, uh, what was really, fu what's really funny about it is that nowhere on the cover, not even on the back or in the screenshots, nowhere do they show Chris Thorndike, a major character in the series, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the reason why. If you know Sonic X, you probably hate Chris Thorndike. There's a, there's a big chance you hate Chris Thorndike, because a lot of people do. <laughs> um, For those that may not know, you, know, you get the band uh, 
uh, uh, Cannibal Corpse, and their lead singer, Corpse Fisher, has like an unusually thick neck. Like, <laughs> like look him up sometimes. Just look up Corpse Grinder. That's like his stage name. Yeah. And his neck, I mean, the, the only way he could headbang like he does is his neck is so thick. <laughs> Like that, that's, that's the only explanation. <laughs> and... I mean... It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh... Golly, like he... He probably, you know, he's like this, this, like, you know, grindcore and death metal singer, but... He posted a picture of his daughter celebrating her 16th birthday. It's just the most wholesome thing you can see. Yeah. That's, but, but, but did that relate anything to Sonic X? I, we were talking. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but it's funny because I think his daughters are also getting thick necks. <laughs> At least one of them is. So, when they say, so if someone says they're thick, they're not necessarily talking about thighs. No, it's just T H I C K. Or sub. Let's. When I said that, we're pretending that they were 18 real quick. <laughs> but, um. But yeah. Sure it's safe around here? Well, you all get the joke. <laughs> If I have a different opinion than you, uh, if I have a different opinion than someone uh, who may notice this, then they'll just do, try to use that against me. <laughs> um, yeah, and they'll they'll take out the context and just you know. <laughs> um. Anyway, so Sonic X. Um. They have or. Uh, Chris Thorndike is is like essentially. I guess he's supposed to play the part of of, of uh, you know the kid to relate to. That um, meeting meeting these alien creatures known as 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 the Sonic characters. Wait for it! Wait for it! Oh 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 oh! Come on, come on! Yes, I, I, sk I skipped the black frog. Um, the, the black frog. Yeah, part. Is normally supposed to do that, but but I didn't, so I I I, I cheated. I keyed it. Uh, what? Anyway, so um, so yeah, Chris Thorndike is is yeah, like I said, the kid that is supposed to be supposed to be, I guess, like the kid watching the show, being like, you know, oh, this this is cool. The problem is, Chris is at least in the first few seasons. Like it, it, later on, okay, in the first few episodes, he's not. He's not unlockable very much, or you know. But um, later on, when they got him like emotionally attached to Sonic, that's when the thing. That's when it became a problem. Yeah. And uh, he just he just kind of becomes this whiny rich kid. <laughs> not like spoil. He didn't like spoil. He just acts like you know. He just whiny a lot. He cries a lot. I'm trying. Yeah. And um, now he admittedly he does get better. In the series, like after they, after they, hit, I mean, this series has been had ended like years ago, so I don't care about spoilers and stuff. But like, uh, it's been spoiled for me. I don't like that. Oh no. Um. <laughs> what was it from shows in that era, and it just being about characters from somewhere else, and they slowly rediscover existing characters, like. Like, Transformers Armada did the same thing as the series went. They just started discovering more Transformers that had already landed. <laughs> I don't know. Now, on Sonic X, they, they discovered them, you know, it was over time, but, like, it, it wasn't, like... It, 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 yeah, I think Big was the last character that they just... Other than, like, Shadow, but that was, like, that's a different situation there. Um, but, like... Uh, Big was the last one that was like on the planet with them before you know. There's that black frog again. Whoa, whoa, frog of color, Sonic. Shut up. Freaking shut up. 
But remember, saying it, saying the other way, that's uh, or you know, saying the other way using color and stuff. That's that's completely racist. But saying of color, people love color. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Because <laughs> that makes yeah. all kinds of sense. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering if we're gonna get all the chaos emeralds, I don't know. Um. Uh, we have to because we have to show the final battle. Well, either we'll do either we'll do it, we'll get them all, or we'll just use the account where I've already got them all. Real ones get them all. Well, I'm not a real one. I thought you knew that. <laughs> You're not, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I mean, okay. Honestly, getting the Chaos Emeralds here is a lot easier than getting them in, uh, especially if you use Team Rose. Mostly if you use Team Rose, but like... Getting them here in this game is a lot easier than a lot of the other games where you have to collect the Chaos Emeralds. Um, Chaos Emeralds? Yeah, all the Chaos Emeralds. All the Chaos Emeralds. Um, yeah, what about how what about how Chow is basically just um, it's just spelled Chaos, but but without the S at the end. Um. What's the plural of chow? Is it a chow or chows? I think it's just chow. Or on Family Guy, he thought that the plural of him moose is sheep. <laughs> Wait, that was on Family Guy? I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, uh, something like that. I remember, but I remember, uh, um, what did I remember? Anyway, um,. There was, a, there was a moment I was about to say, and I can't remember now. Pearl Goose is she? Yeah. Well, I found out we'd be uh, getting our own country. Let's see. Then I remember, hey, uh, I could be like Hillary Clinton, only, you know, without the penis. <laughs> Which, I mean, what? <laughs> so it was funny. We, uh, at, at Dragon Con, they had this special event at the Georgia Aquarium, was in the same general area. Yeah. And it was basically like, oh, you guys can all get your costumes and go to the aquarium and, you know, if you pay VIP, you get drinks and you just, you know, stuff for different people. And there's, there's music playing, you just go screw around in the aquarium for a yeah. little while. And well, Sonic doesn't like that. The rules of the aquarium are things like, like, I was told, hey, if you're having a backpack, we'll probably want to search you. And, uh, it's like, for the safety of our, I guess, and animals, no knives. Something, something. No gum can be brought into the aquarium. <laughs> okay, well, I was with a group of three other people. Um, I was the only person who had a backpack, a knife, and gum, and was the only person who didn't get searched. <laughs> None of the others had gum or knives or backpacks and all got searched. <laughs> I didn't even set off the alarm, which is good because I was freaking out. I didn't know about the knife thing until we were right there. Yeah. And mind you, my hotel is a, from that distance. My hotel is about a forty-minute tra uh, trip. Like, where was I going to leave my knife? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't have to. You know, it was great. <laughs> I just, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, okay. By the way, so, um, yeah, so basically, if you notice there, I fell whenever I was supposed to be able to go through um, the rings there. That's because this game was unfinished. I mean, let's... <laughs> Is any Sonic game ever really finished? I know, it's, it's... Well, okay, well, let me say this. Remember what I was talking about last time, how... They, did, they didn't care about some glitches as long as you could make it through the level. Like, if you can make it through the level without 
any soft locks or anything like that that prevents you from doing it, then it was okay with them. And that's just funny to think about that, you know. And then you got the alligator who, who almost looks like it has no limbs. I mean, I saw it. I saw it there, but like giant alligator. Sonic always bragging about stupid quickness. Oh. <laughs> you're his quickness here, his tails. Yeah, I know. Well, it could be him. Actually, you know what they're doing? It's all of them, and they're using teamwork. Fury. Fury alligator. It's like the alligator in Resident Evil 2. Oh, yeah, that one was... I remember seeing that as a kid and being ter quite terrified of, the, of the, the trailer they had for it. I like how uninspired that last ring is. Let's just put it up on a mushroom. <laughs> um... <laughs> But on, um, uh, on D, no, um, but, like, I think it wasn't until, like, Shadow the Hedgehog and some of those games when they actually improved the, the light dash thing. Like, Adventure 2, I think we already talked about this before, but Adventure 2 was, uh, was better than Adventure 1's. Somehow they detrayed it, they detracted here. One. I don't know. Less revealing, but still awkward. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, it is this. It'll be a date to die for. I don't know. <laughs> so I guess since I just did the whole world here, I'll just finish this boss and you can do the next world. Huh? What was the hedgehog that looked like my twin? What was with the hedgehog? That looked like my twin, even though I just talked to him like I already knew who he So, here's my question. Why is there like no cohesion between the various worlds you visit? Like, they, they don't seem to flow into each other. Because you're not supposed to think about it. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was doing the, the thing that you failed to do with Team Rose. Anyway. Team Chaotix! The detectives, you just turned on my Xbox One. Oh. You probably said on my controller. Yeah, well, you need to not have this crap all over your bed. Well, also, you need to notice where you sit, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, well. Sonic, anyway. Excuse me. Yeah, they made him a lot more of a little kid in this game, at least in the English version. Yeah, see, how did that forest lead here? Um. Also, turn it up. You're not supposed to think about it. <laughs> Got it. Oh. 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 I like how in Shadow of Hedgehog, those ghosts essentially show up, except they're just puppets. Ch cheap em like Eggman, Eggman wasn't able to get them back, so he just had cheap and I don't know what they actually Oh yeah, time. this place is like the worst Team Chaotix level. I think it's the next one that's like the worst one. The next level after this. And for Team Chaotix. It's the one, you, t you talking about the one where you have to light out or put out all those uh, lights or whatever? I guess so. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, how? Because I don't okay, like but mentioned. sometimes when it comes to the edge, yeah, I know, I know. They just like stop. Yeah. We really love this game, folks. <laughs> okay, how? No! I don't even know how that happens. Oh, um, don't do that. <laughs> I remember on Drake and Josh, where it was the doctor, like when, when Drake's friend like pushed him and, and like it hurt him a lot, and he goes, um. Um, the doctor's like, um, I never saw the beyond that, huh? Found a way, found a way, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's apparently another word you can't say or else you'll get demonetized, but I, again, I'm not even monetized to begin with, so I don't really care. Um, saying pedophile. There's certain words apparently you're just not allowed to say, and I get that they're more adult things, but like when you're talking about a more adult situation, I feel like you should, you know. Anyway, so. See, they say, oh, but my kids? This case can be well, by how about you parent your children and restrict their access? Yeah. Or, or, hear me out, don't let kids on YouTube. <laughs> what a crazy idea! Maybe, maybe, maybe don't let kids on the internet until they're at least like 12 or 13. Yeah. Or be, or be there 100% be there with them when they're on the internet at yeah. the very least. <laughs> or tell them, you know. Yeah. You don't want to do that kind of stuff. That's weird. Ready anytime. Anyway, so I remember on you remember on Dragon Josh like the doctor just see was like. Cause like um, uh, when, he, when a guy pushes uh, Drake down, he's like, um, don't do that. <laughs> it was just it was the tone of his voice and just like, like he was he was exactly the same as when he's explaining stuff to Drake and it was just it was just funny the way it sounded. It was hilarity. And Sylvester's laying down and his tail was going for a moment. Like, oh. like when he just randomly twitches his his limbs around. So, uh... So wait, was that the second uh, force level we just did? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was the second one. Two. Yeah, uh... I mean, there's two of each in every world. <laughs> I kind of figure out how to remember. Hey, you surprised me. I don't even know what they're saying. This is like very Sega music. <laughs> Not like Genesis, but like, you know, Dreamcast era type and stuff. I do kind of want, like, I think the reason at the time people weren't as critical of this one, I mean, there's still a lot of people that love it, but like, I think the reason at the time people weren't as critical was because we, we all kind of knew this wasn't going to be the mainstay, this was just for this game. You know, the teamwork thing and the, you know. Of course, people aren't really all that critical of the teamwork stuff, but rather they just, well, the physics we're having problems with. But of course, with with everything Sonic on the internet, they'll, the, the haters will, like, over-exaggerate. Um, the, uh, Essentially the worst video game ever played. Yeah, that kind of stuff, like... Again, like like Sonic is with them. It's like Sonic is the. And, and here is why uh, um, Mario is, is missing for the uh, 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 for the Nintendo is actually better than Sonic Heroes. Yeah, it's like they. I mean, I don't know if anyone who would actually say that they they've obviously got issues if they say that. But anyway, um, but um, yeah. So like. Sonic on the, on the internet, when it comes to post Genesis Sonic, um, is is the definition of making mountains out of molehills. You know, that just sounds like a video. Sonic on the internet. <laughs> Does it not? Yeah, I know. I'm sure several people have made. I mean, there's people that have made like a lot of different versions of stuff like that, but. It probably it probably is somewhere. At least Sonic on the internet. And what? I remember on uh, Rift Tracks, that, like whenever that guy on, on Doctor the Doctor Who special was painting and said, if they were pointing out and they, uh, was a Mike says, yes, that Sonic the Hedgehog is very pregnant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Wait, those exist. No. no. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, they do. It's just that, that, so do other types, it's just Sonic is the most popular to talk about. So ironically, ends up become, you end up seeing it more because of the, because of how popular it is. It's kind of a chicken egg thing. Well. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's that was another problem was, you notice you just, you, like, instead of going forward, like, keeping up your momentum, it just, doom, you know, just drops you like a rock.
but as long as you can get through the level, it's fine. So for some reason, this video, whenever I produce, whenever I put it on YouTube and stuff, it, it the, the first part, I mean, uh, the first session, it like the the frame rate kick on. But only on YouTube, like it doesn't do it on your computer. I think it may have done it on my computer. I don't remember for sure. I thought it was just a problem with like you know sometimes viewing stuff on there doesn't always translate to you know the same thing that you that whenever I upload it, but like. So I don't know what happened there. Um, I'm gonna have to be sure, and if it does it again after I've produced it, it before I upload it, then I'll check it out and you know try to do something else or see what I can do with that. Unless it, I, I don't remember if it was after I edited, you know, added the intro and outro, or if it was after, or if it was before that. I'll have to check again. Well, that's worth finding out. Do you know where your bug is at? So it looks fine right now, at least while it's recording. I don't notice any frame rate dips there. Or, you know, frame rate, like, freezes or whatever. Whatever you call you it. Like, got no dip. I ain't got no dip in it. Lol, have mercy. Oh, no. Spread out. Spread out. The, uh, the, the Three Stooges, one of the Three Stooges phrases. One of the free food is brought up. The free stooges. Yeah. Um. Ready anytime. Okay, Knuckles. I keep trying to go to Knuckles. Here, just stop. He, I think he was hurt there, and for some reason it doesn't switch over when they're like. See, here's the thing. Okay, so here's the one thing I thought about. You notice in most of these Sonic games, whenever you run into an enemy, whenever you run into a hazard or enemy, it, it knocks you it knocks you to the ground and it takes you a minute to get back up one thing I liked about Sonic 6 which it may not have been intentional but one thing I liked about it was that even if you got hurt you don't fly back like you do in a lot of these other Sonic games again that that may not have been intentional but I'm glad it wasn't there because <laughs> you lost ring sure and you could still die but like it was you didn't fly back you still had a chance to you know now, some people may talk, consider that like, oh, well, you're just you're just cheating your way through it, well, you know. But no. <laughs> also, that game was a mess anyway. Who cares? Boom oh six. Boom oh six oh six boom. It's a mess of a game, but again, it's one of those where it, where I think people did way too much exaggerated exaggeration on it. And I I do still say that people who consider that one of the worst games of all time. Have not played that many video games before, <laughs> or they have a. Let's just say they just have wrong opinions. <laughs> right. Wrong opinions are possible. That is true. In my, like when you say, in my opinion, murdering someone for no reason—that's fine. Where's the switch? You break that wall. I thought you would have known. Okay, not that wall, but okay. I think it's above the door. And this is one thing that also kind of got on nerves about this. I will still be, as much as I love this game, I will be critical of it, folks. Um, it, uh, you do, like, whenever you fly as Tails, if, uh, when it's like above a door or above a gate or whatever, you're pulling the switchboard and using Tails. The problem is, you have to be like exactly... You have to just, like jump at the right time and, and execute the flight at the right time because if you don't, you'll either go above or below it. You know, well, mostly like at the above problem. But Andrew, just wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. <laughs> I was doing that. Okay, I thought you were literally doing that because you didn't know uh, you didn't know how to get down. No, I wanted to jump around like a fool. Leave it to me. Got it. Six. Oh, 06 boom. Leave it to me. Too many pictures and words. Not enough pictures and words. Yeah, I made that pay I remember I made that. I want to see if I can look that up real quick. Boom, I think Boom 06 is a better one. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't do 06 boom. Just Boom 06. Boom 06 flows better. Well, yeah, it flows better, but it's still, it's still, like, I still wanted to add to the joke. 
Someone, oh yeah, for someone liked a picture of mine that says, it showed the hand meme where it's about to press a button. Let's see. So, uh, says something slightly abnormal. Uh, the button is, uh, is that your fetish? <laughs> there were a lot of furries at uh, Dragon Con. Dragon Con. Actually, uh, well, I'll tell you what, not a lot, but there were there were several. I think a lot would be the wrong way to say it, but there there were there were some furries, and I, while I couldn't go punch them like my buddy told me to, um, I did do a thing where every time a furry was nearby, I would I would I, and mind you, I was dressed as a Jedi. We go kill the furries and turn on the lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> so would I happily fight furries at Dragon Con? Maybe. It sounds like it'd be kind of fun. <laughs> you wouldn't be as hesitant to fight a furry than you would like a, a some other type of person or certain other. You know. <laughs> I did almost end up in a fight with a bunch of Sith. It was pretty funny. So I looked at it. We were is at the uh, aquarium and. Yeah. Uh, I, I looked behind me and there's just like a group of like five Sith. <laughs> I, I look at them, lightsabers start turning on, and I realize what's going on. <laughs> and the, somehow the, 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 the fight ended and then one of them walks up to me and he's like, excuse me, Jedi? And like, I don't know where they all come from from the various groups. Yeah. But like, somehow people can end up with different little like badges or not bad, it's like a little ribbon that can stick onto your card. And I accidentally ended up on the dark side. <laughs> and if I wasn't so tired, because it was happening close to me, but my feet were so sore, because we'd already walked about... By that point, we already walked about 12 miles that day. Yeah. Um, oh, come on! Uh, you know, if he had just gone through that door, I think... And why did they follow? <sighs> Like, why did Sonic and Tails just rush over to jump we're off the edge? If you're jumping off, we're all jumping off, Knuckles. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I watched a big Jedi Sith fight, and I wasn't, if I wasn't so tired, I would have jumped up and joined the fight. <laughs> By the way, from Pac-Man World 3, details of my sector's energy should be between me and Miss Pac. Thank you very much. What? Yeah, that was in Pac-Man World 3. Say that again? Details of my sector's energy should be between me and Miss Pack. Thank you very much. Obviously, the person who was talking to him about it was not talking about that. <laughs> He's not talking about the way he was thinking. Yeah. Um. But remember, when you have when you have to explain the, your story's sudden plot changes, and then the button is different universes. Yeah. We'll see. Why co let's see, why YouTube comments get turned off? A little small percent of it is toxicity. The rest of it is they're, they're right and I don't want to admit it. <laughs> well, I was talking to the co-worker about people saying multiverse. And it's like, well, wait, like, listen to like some of the reasoning. It's like, we can't, you know, um, you must, uh, basically, how do I explain it? You know, we must assume multiple universes because, um, based on potential fluctuations and whatnot. Basically, it, it kind of comes down to, hold on, are you saying that with every decision another universe is created, or are you saying you don't know you how to... You see Team Blast. <laughs> you know, I'll bring it up in the next stream when I've learned how to verbalize it better. <laughs> Basically, I think that the multiverse theory kind of sounds like a cover-up for we don't know how to measure a thing quantum-wise when we say other universes are created. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it just sounds like a fun science fiction thing. You know. Okay. I don't know that fun. Jump, jump up high as you can. Okay, well, actually, actually, you don't do it that way. You, you go to the switch thing. So do you notice that's Eggman right there? You see him. Oh. Oh yeah, there was a uh, there was an Eggman. Andrew, 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 you do you uh, gotta use the switch first. There was an Eggman at uh Oh at Dragon Con. Yeah. And now you see Metal Sonic. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a discovery! I don't know. What a discovery. 
Roses are red. You gotta keep up, keep up the pace. Guy fails to rob bank while wearing Sonic the Hedgehog's face. <laughs> Roses are red. You gotta keep up the pace. Guy fails to rob a bank while wearing Sonic the Hedgehog's face, like a Sonic mask. <laughs> okay, why do I keep getting brought back this far? Did you get uh, a checkpoint back that far? Okay, Knuckles. It's so irritating. Yeah. Like you, hey. like you take him down. Yeah. Okay. Um. What kind of gay garbage is this? Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, when I saw the the trailer, one of the the Rotten Tomatoes YouTube thing, the trailer for the the first trailer for the the Rob Zombie Monsters movie. Yeah. And someone comments. This has the quality and acting chops of a local mattress uh, sales commercial. Wait, did that ever come out? Andrew, there was just a first trailer. I think it's supposed to come out around Halloween or something. Halloween. Celebrating Halloween will get you put in hell or something. Re remember, remember, um, but remember, I don't like celebrating Christmas because it's just a big commercial thing and not everyone celebrates Christmas around this time, so we gotta say Happy Holidays. And then someone who celebrates, you know, Halloween, literally a commercial, or, you know, at least these days are a commercial, blah, blah, blah. I celebrate Halloween all year round, you know. <laughs> people that say that they celebrate Halloween all year round are people that are very concerning with me. There's something not right with you. Yeah. Not, there's also you're, something you're, not you're, you're not violent or anything, but there's something very wrong with you. I mean, there's something wrong with someone who celebrates Christmas all year round, also, but like, at least, you know, like the, the modern, you know, but like. Yeah, I mean, there's also something wrong with people that start, you know, playing Christmas music after Labor Day, but whatever. <laughs> oh, wait, let's see. T uh, hold on a minute. Let's see. Be um, TV shows, mostly cartoons, be like episode three. I am the boss of I am boss of you. Uh, let's see. It is established that you are boss of me in series. Episode seven. Let's see. You just now get job, so I I your new boss. Is uh, is this origin episode that takes place before episode three? No. <laughs> Like, you know, like, there's shows that will, like, they'll, like, mostly cartoons that'll show their, their episodes out of order. Or that, that at least happened a lot more back then. Because, like, I think, uh, I think in Rocco, there was an earlier episode where he's already working at that comic store, but then there's a later episode where he gets the job at that comic store. Not that he was fired and then got it back, it was, you know... There's also an episode where it shows like Filbert was just some random character that uh, that was working at, at the at a grocery store, but then later on it shows that actually him and Rocco are friends, and you know, but like Rocco talks to him as if he's just some random guy he didn't know, you know. <laughs> it's not just Rocco. I'm just saying that there's that happens a lot in shows. Can't say. Can't say. Can't say. Rocco. Oh. Or oh, the fact that Phil and the cat Too get married cool. and they have little cat and turtle babies. Yep. And that the cats have claws, like hook hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh. What Nintendo what Nintendo fans want? A re release let's uh, see. What Nintendo fans want, uh a, a re-release of, of Metroid Prime Hunters for Switch with obviously improved graphics and controls with some extra features to make it worth the price. What Nintendo would give us? Uh, yes. Nintendo, you wanted Metroid Prime Hunters Remake and Metroid Prime 4? So here's Metroid Prime pin uh, Pinball Remake uh, for Switch with one or two min miniature extra features, all at the cost of $60, only $50 more than it's worth. Yes. Let's see. They would, though. Let's see, this isn't, this isn't what I wanted it to know. I mean, I'm still going to buy it, thus misleading you guys into thinking uh, and continuing making stuff we don't want, but I'm still mad. Andrew, you, you're going to do the other worlds, because remember I already did. Just enough to pass. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah.
I'm not saying people are actually asking for a Metroid Prime Hunters remake, but they would probably they would want that, and then Nintendo would probably give us the pinball game for sixty dollars. Mystic Mansion. Oh yeah, here we go. While playing a no watch. Yep. <laughs> Got it. Take this. Take this. this is a great game. Take this. Take this. While playing a mobile game. Turn it up. I want to hear this music. This banging. Take this. While, while playing a mobile game. Game. Want to double your points? Uh, slash want to continue? Play ad. To me, presses no thanks. Game plays ad anyway, just without reward at the end. Kind of accurate though. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this is from back when uh this is back before they revealed the redesign for uh the Sonic movie for Sonic and the Sonic movie the first one. And then uh, uh, it's the it's the meme where it's like Tom looking and trying to look under the thing for the new or you know for the announcement or you know it's looking under the thing and then he like puts his face over you know that meme. You know what I'm talking about? Can I destroy those? At certain ones, I don't think you can destroy those though. I think you have to have those anyway to go up there. Wee wee wee. Um. The GameCube version of this game wouldn't work on my Wii. Um, but yeah, so Tom is lifting up the covers because it says "Breaking News: The official, the new official Sonic redesign is here." And then, and then he puts his face over his head because it's it's another fan-made one. <laughs> Let's see. I like whenever you get like powered up and you drop stuff in knuckles and people just keep spinning in circles around in these. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. People people making things you never knew existed lists be like Top twenty games you never knew existed and I had to cover like Ocarina of Time and Super Mario World and And then uh the list. Tw uh, twenty through fourteen. Games you already knew exist games you knew existed. Or game you knew existed. Number thirteen. Game you actually didn't know existed. Let's see, 12 through 10, uh, game you knew existed. Or, yes, uh, 10, 12 through 9, game you knew existed. Number 8, another game you actually didn't know existed. 7 through 5, game you knew existed. Let's see, number 4. Another say, game in your collection. Yeah, the, let's see, number 4, the game you forgot about but, but remembered after seeing it again, and then the rest are games you already, game you knew existed. Which I feel like that that was a lot of lists. Suck, suck. Like at the time, there was probably a lot of games I didn't know existed. But like because everyone makes those lists, they'll talk about games that every other YouTuber already talked about, so you already know they exist if you've already seen those videos. Um, when do you hit the break? I think you hold like one of the buttons down and it'll break. Okay, what do you get for doing that at even so much time? I don't really know. Extra points, I guess? Yeah, you gotta upload that to, I guess, the GameCube version to GameCube Live, yo. <laughs> the, a the average gamer girl diet. Doritos, Mountain Dew, a controller, a case, credit cards. <laughs> That's mostly like streamers. But not all streamers, because I know, I know some that are actually not like that. I love the, the, I mean, I think it's a, I the playback, it's got, uh, look at the gamer girl with like, the string in her mouth, and it's got the picture of, like, a guy doing that with his controller, yeah. and then, like, a dude who's about to, to eat. Oh, uh, yeah, he has, like, a fork like, and knife or whatever. Yeah, he has, like, a fork and a knife and stuff. Yeah. With his, uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see, Peter. Are, they, are these? Did you get new buttocks? Let's see. I had to. My own had a crack in it. 
<laughs> yeah, he did a little laugh like that. Let's see here. Just a minute. See if I can. Well. Shaw. Shaw. See if there were a rift. There are rift tracks special in this game. They just. Shaw. I don't know what. Right, anyways. Uh. <laughs> um. Let's see. Spooky, what? scary skeleton. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. What? Let's see. Why uh, I was like, I freaking swear, I got this daggum key. I'm gonna go to the Emerald stage and let you beat it. Mysterious switch. Wonder what it does. What's funny, uh... If you... If you're worried about bottomless pits in this... Just remember Sonic Advance 2. That game had a ton. That game has a ton yeah, the of... The Sonic Advance games are still more tightly put together control-wise. Yeah, they are. I'm just saying, like, they... I'm, what I'm saying is that, like... If you don't know the level design very well, you're gonna fall in a lot of bottomless pits, because they put a ton of them in that game. Oh, no! They also made the mistake of having it to where to get everything you have to get all the emeralds as every single character. Now I did find out that you don't actually have to beat Sonic's um, that you could you only have to beat Sonic's uh, or get all the emeralds as Sonic to unlock the Super Sonic stage. I mean the reason the reason we were able to play it was because we used the the action replay. But, uh, I'm not, I, that's the only way I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna use cheats to do that if I wanna do that again. Otherwise, I'm not even doing it, because it is definitely, definitely not worth getting all the emeralds. Legitimately. Because, so what you have to do in Advance 2, hey, I, I question... Hey, is there key anywhere? There might be. Andrew, <laughs> when we get to Team Rose, it'll be a lot easier that way. Um, but anyway, so when we, but like, I remember when we, when we played, um, or, or, no, shoot, uh, that wasn't what I was going to say. My mind just kind of puts in words while I'm trying to think of what I'm actually trying to say. Um, uh, anyway, um, Advance 2, you have to find all seven of the hidden special rings and then at the so when and then when you beat the level you go to the special stage. Well, special stages the special stages themselves are actually a neat idea and, and like the best in the the Sonic Advance trilogy. The problem is getting there, so it's it's hard because like there's some places in Sonic Advance Two where you can't go back and get the get the you know you have to start over the level, and it's not a case of oh if you get it it's permanently you permanently got it. No, you have to get them all in one run. And then you go to the Emerald Challenges. Alright, so do that seven more times. And then, uh, to get Super Sonic and stuff. And then do that seven more times with each character. <coughs> now just to, Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta go down there. Um, I think the doors are for, like, other characters. So that's the thing. It does get a little repetitive that you have to play through the same levels as the, every single team on here. But they at least change it up. Breaks. Enough. Um. But you can ram them into those things because uh, they get destroyed. Like if you run into them, they get destroyed. Okay, how do I do this in 20 seconds? Like, how could I? Oh. <laughs> okay, I was like, how, 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 how can you go any faster? You're like railroaded. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, if you want to go faster on the on the bobsled, there. I don't know. <laughs> don't jump. There we go. Ten seconds. Go forward, like hold forward on the stick. Actually, you gotta jump though. This gets annoying. Well, but you still beat the record. <laughs> and I've made it with just tails. <laughs> 
Why Nintendo charges a lot for their games and other stuff? Let's see, the 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 smallest, the five percent of it is they're usually fantastic games. Uh, the the slightly bigger one is they're one hundred percent complete before they're uh, released, and the rest of it is fans will pay anything for whatever they make. <laughs> This was back whenever uh, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe was announced for Switch. It says, Nintendo, what do you want, uh, fans? Virtual console games. Nintendo, and it shows that. Oh yeah, here's that, here's that, uh, picture, here's that Link statue that we saw one time at, uh, that Knife Works shop. Or that Knife Works place. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, I thought I was Sonic, because I was, and then I somehow pressed the wrong button. <laughs> hey, uh, me, me am, uh, Luke, look, from To Legs of Zel Zerla. Let's see here. Um... I'm still trying to find that picture that I made of, uh, of, um, we may be able to do triangle jumps since it's so narrow here. Yeah, with the, uh, uh, the Sonic stuff. Let's see here. <laughs> Leave it to me. Let's go. I still love this picture right here where it says when the teacher makes a new class arrangement. Is and the blue, the blue ones are best friends. The the red ones are coolest girls, which they're all sitting together. The yellow ones are stupidest people ever, and the green ones me and like you know. It's just funny because how extremely accurate that is. Guilty. Guilty. This sounds like he's saying. That's what, I mean, that's really what it sounds like. It sounds like saying guilty. Because they don't, they didn't make it at all clear what they're, what they mean when they say this stuff. Oh yeah, this is norm. Okay, so this place is usually dark? Come on. There, they'll keep reappearing. You just, you know, use tails. No, but I wanted to, but, uh, no, I lost the key. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. Dark? Yeah, this place is normally supposed to be like a darker color. I mean, there's lights, but like it's normally not this bright. I think this is just on the Xbox version. Let's leave this to tails. Um, let's see here. Huh. <sighs> Wait, Link, Lincoln Parka, Lincoln Park, Link, Link and Lincoln, Lincoln Park, Link and Lincoln Park and Park, Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Parka and Lincoln Park, Lincoln Parka and Lincoln Parka, uh, Lincoln Park and Park. It's one of those pictures. Those names are, they're, they're something, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, remember this? The way that they're spelled. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can find that picture. Well, yeah, right. Okay. So, decide randomly not to be able to hone, hone in on somebody. Yeah, you gotta like wait a little bit and then do it because it's just. It... But I did wait a little bit. He was there, and then one behind him was there, and he just didn't do it. Just, 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 just didn't do it. Let me see here. Yeah, we may be able to do triangle jumps since it's so narrow here. 
when your bro Watch out. when your brother when you got a when you got prom at seven but you're marrying your brother at eight. <laughs> what? Because the show's of oh. oh dear lord. <laughs> The uh, here's the picture. If people reviewed Sonic merchandise, Sonic Frisbee, a regular Frisbee with Sonic's picture of it. Horribly rushed thing. Sonic 06 again. Mario clone. Bad thing. Let's see. Sonic action figures. Toys of Sonic. Uh, let's see. Review. Bad, terrible experience. Too much like a toy. Sonic boom. Ma uh, made of plastic or something. Bad thing. Sonic napkins. Literally just napkins with Sonic on them. Review. More like uh, Sonic Sonic 06 boom things. Didn't cl didn't clean uh, off every stain. Copying Mario. Gets too messy after using it. Worst napkin ever. Gets too messy after using it. <laughs> yeah. Sonic drinking cups. Cups with Sonic on it. Boom 06. Too much uh, too much straw. Funny shaped cup. Can be dropped. Possible to spill a uh, drink out. Bad cup. I think that's a that's a cup you've had. Uh, let's see. So, here we go. Sonic books, not just comic books. Let's see. Just a book. Oh six boom. Too many pages and words. Not enough pages and words. Sonic is dead. Uh, Sonic is dead. Let's see. Paper. It's like that's one of the negatives. Is paper. Let's see. Won't update. Worst thing ever. Won't update's probably the best one. Yeah. <laughs> Someone gives you uh, directions, but you go the wrong way. I thought you said weast. Wait, which one was 06 Boom? Uh, let's see. Which, which product, or, or, or sorry, sorry, which product is Boom 06? Is Boom 06? Oh, it's a drinking cup. Yeah, the drinking cup is Boom, Boom 06. <laughs> <laughs> no! Shit, let's see. Dang it! Chilly out. Let's see. Chilly outside today, and it's a picture of uh, showing the outside, and there's a thing of chili out there. And someone said, "Stop." No problem. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Don't fall off here. <laughs> you know what? What if I want to? Well, then you'd have to go back. Let's see. Piece of cake. Someone, someone got tattooed to, to be nasty. Let's see. I saw his tattoo the other day. Let's see. It's his caution choking hazard. This is what they're talking about there. Their pee pee. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it says, and I thought to myself, I thought they only put that on packages with small parts. <laughs> Payback time, Eggman. You guys ready? All right. Ready. I'm just looking through. If that line had been in current song games, are you guys ready? Ready as I ever am, Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have some, some stupid, cringy line. Yeah. Cringe. Fat Let's see, fatality. Fatal let's see, fatality, when your fatality will work. One, put in the right combination of buttons. Two, be in the right place. Three, be fast enough with pushing the right buttons. Four, all this will work about 50% of the time when the game feels like working. Maybe if we destroy all these Eggman's robots. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these Eggman's robots. The <laughs> picture of uh, of uh, Mufasa says proof that cats don't always land on their feet. <laughs> Too cool. <laughs> Looks like there's a bunch of them. Come and get some. We won't give up so easily again. They're everywhere. Take this. Not bad. 
Too cool. Too cool. Aver let's see, Aver here's an older one. Oh, this is from like 2015. So, uh, average Sonic review. Sonic is bad. Sonic 06. Sonic Boom. Two minutes of about the, uh, two minutes about the game being reviewed. Back to 06 and Boom. Sonic is bad. Sonic or Tails to get to the next area. How do I hop out? A. 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 They're gonna fly off. Well, you shouldn't hit B then. See what that does. Or X or Y or whatever. Oh, you, well, you land there. Yeah, so you Sonic or Tails. I thought you knew this by now. Why am I having problems? Use the thing. Okay, King Blast them, but alright. All right. While they were all coming. Hey, we worked all day on that. Your shoddy craftsmanship brings shame on all hedgehog kind. And for that, you shall perish. That's like boom. Remember, uh... Remember for, from that Disney show that... Uh, see, I'm not sure Disney fully understands what a pirate is, and it says a good pirate never takes another person's property. <laughs> oh, I'm happy because they want kids imitating pirates. <laughs> Which I don't understand. We didn't imitate pirates, and we saw them on TV. Yeah. We were a bunch of no, like, pirates. like. Well, yeah, I, I was about to say the, uh, well, also today, they, uh, you know. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. Like, they were, they were not clear at all with that stuff. It's like music whenever you have to look up the lyrics to know what they're saying. Let's go. Remember the PS2 and Xbox versions of uh, of Sonic Heroes. Let's see. Let's blast through with Sonic speed. Okay. All right. Get too excited, boys. Those are the easy ones. Don't get too excited, boy. Those were the easy, easy ones. ones. All right. My favorite is when he says that to Amy, Cream, and Big. Yeah. And Big is so worthless, he's basically not a boy. And it, yeah. <laughs> 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 Walk and low. Teddies everywhere. <laughs> Get to Eggman's flagship title. What? Let's get this party started. 
So apparently, <laughs> according to like what the the demo that people played at the uh, at the um, Gamescom or whatever it was, I think it was Gamescom, whatever it was. Um, they had a demo set up for Sonic Frontiers, and it's gotten a lot. Of, it has gotten a lot of positive feedback from from fans and stuff, and, and people who haven't played a, a lot of Sonic games. Um, but anyway, apparently, apparently Sonic's voice is like, like it's still Roger Craig Smith doing the voice, but he's he's making it sound a lot deeper. Not like Hi, my name is Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> it's just, it's just if you hear it, it, it just sounds a lot deeper. And I think the reason for that is because apparently they they are trying to go back to having a more serious story. Which they did that with, they were trying to do that with Sonic Forces, but they had the same writers as the ones who made the cringy comedy. But, um... <coughs> so, it didn't sound very good. Um... But, uh... But, yeah, so, apparently, so, like, I guess he's trying to make him sound older. Or just not as, not as, <laughs> cringy jokes, you know. Roger Craig Smith, I think if, it sounds like this could be a voice that could work. Because, I mean, like, he, see, his, his voice was fine in, like, Sonic Boom and stuff. Like, the comedy was, I mean, well, also the writing was better in that anyway than in the, in the games. But, like, you know, um... Apparently Sega's really trying to get higher ratings for, or higher review scores for Sonic uh, Frontiers. So hopefully that will actually translate to, well, the more the more important thing is if the fans like it and the sales do well, but like, um, you know. Move down. Go down. Go down. Sonic, go down. Yeah. Yeah, they they I'm glad after this game they realized, hey, maybe we shouldn't have kids talking for tales anymore. But also I mean like not saying that the script would have been perfect after that anyway, but like you know it, it you know Let me handle it. He didn't sound like that, I just wanna say or, or like on a on the on the Tonight Show, whenever it was, whenever um, uh, she, um, Star Wars: The Force Awakens was fairly recent, and like he was asking, he's like, let's see, he was asking, he's like, did you get emo uh, talking to uh, Harrison Ford? Uh -huh. He's like, did you get emotional when you put the wardrobe on? He's like, no, I got paid. No, I got paid. <laughs> oh, he didn't really sound like that, but it was just, it was just funny to say it like that. But then, like, you have to use Sonic to do that, but it switches to Knuckles. Well, okay, I guess because of this. Guys. Way to go, guys! You get a gold star! I don't know. Knuckles, we're counting on you. Knuckles, you failed us. These these guys are huge metal fans. Oh. It is see Sonic is one of those series that like the game like in the game stuff it is probably it is really fun to speed run. Or for some people it could be. I mean I Sonic already does speed run, huh? <laughs> Tails. <laughs> do you see what's happening? Yes. There, do you see what's happening? 
Tails is not looking right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm even paying a bit of attention. <laughs> Just like the marriage. Oh, what? Just like my marriage. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was real or not. <laughs> was that real? Yeah. Oh lord. Anyway. So. Um. 06 boom boom 06 uh. Now, I don't know why I even switch to Tails when I do this, because if you fall off, there's no way you're going to be able to get anywhere with Tails in it either. Like, you'll be able to fly around for a few seconds, and they'll shoot. Uh, excuse me, please go down? Uh, excuse me, the uh, proper term is Tails. Would you please so kindly uh, adjust the copter so that we go down? So that we uh, descend? Well, that's what, uh, well, Omega says, uh, ascend and descend. <laughs> and I, I was a dumb... Go not up and go not down. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Time to destroy the next one. Oh, shoot. I was trying to switch to Sonic so he'd get the, the, because he's the only one who doesn't have the last power up, but... And now we can't, we had to freeze it. Freeze Freeze it. You monster frisbee! That's delicious. Now I understand you were looking for a kaboom. If I said no, would you? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this. It wastes time, but I like doing this. Here we go. Camera doesn't want me to do this, but gosh darn it, I'm doing it. See, I skip, I bypass the whole thing. What whole thing? Oh, section where you have to like use the spinning things and the fight enemies and the and the duck. Here we go. Here we go now. Cynthia, she's a really cool dancer. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> so how does you just run through here blow that ship up? What? How does you running through there blow that ship up? Um. Because we blast through with Sonic Speed! Oh, well. Shut up. Do you want to do the next one? Sonic, oh. we did it! It's Final Fortress with the music. <laughs> they did a really good job of making like the last music sound like last music, you know? Like the last place. <laughs> Destroy the flagship's core. This must be Eggman's headquarters. Yeah. It's like a giant blue well. How does this thing stay afloat? Doesn't matter. Let's take it down. Folks, did I make a mistake by letting Andrew play the stage? Because we know who will be here for a while. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can go down there. Because everyone's a winner. Nope. Because everyone's a winner. Are aiming our way. Watch for those target markers. Markers. Barkers. Bob Barker, what? We're on SpongeBob. Bob Barnacle. Bob Barnacle? Yeah. Cool. Slow down. Awesome. Hey, you take over a minute. I got to use the restroom. No. And I plan on telling the folks everything that every secret that you have. I don't know. What happens? <laughs> so yeah, so there's uh... a. Right. All right. Yeah, it's it's. I'm a little more experienced than Andrew is with this game. 
I don't care if there's other enemies ahead. I'm just using this art. I'm just using this now. Just because this path is, you know... Uh, you know, this game is a mess. It's a level of a mess. He's gonna freak out if I don't get the key. So anyway, um, there we go. I think there's a no, there's not. Dang it! I thought there was a, like a, a bounce pad there. Bounce pad. Come down! Gosh darn it! Eggman robots. Look at all those Eggman robots. Isn't it amazing that whenever they get hurt, you can't use it for a few seconds because they were dumb dumb. Two willikers. Golly. Red laser fire. Fails, we just saw these. Why How did you know that? It's the yellow laser. Hey, Sonic, hop on that pole and do the tornado yep. jump. That's about right. There's like a level up where you can like use Sonic to uh, um, like you you can just jump at it and it'll um, and you'll uh, let's see if I let's see if I can do it now. Okay, you can. There is a glitch I've been able to do a long time ago where like he'll he'll gr or well like you can switch between the characters. And um, you can use, then you can actually use someone else to do to grab a hold of that pole. That's really interesting. And let's see if I can do this right. Should I bounce pad? No, it's not. Shit. Okay, no, I wasn't able to. No, no. Jeez. Hey. Leave it to me. Take the Who are members tech deck? This is why it's not good. This is not why it's not really wise to use other teams other than Team Rose to get the Chaos Emeralds because, well, it's a lot harder to to get all the. Uh, it's you know because because you have to make it to the end without getting hit if you have a key. All right, so the Sonic switches.
Knuckles, even though Sonic just did that. <laughs> why did they only have why did they only have to level ups for tails? I don't get it. And that's why I'm not allowed in the country of Cambodia anymore. I'm not either. <laughs> reason to go to Cambodia anyway. No, I don't either. I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> uh, it's, it's in the continent of Hawaii. God. Oh. Yeah, you gotta... Don't go down there. Huh. You gotta, you gotta ride that, you gotta ride that rail, cause you'll make it to... You gotta activate some switches or something on, on each side. Wait, I need to fly up to that rail? Yeah, you need to go to the... Uh, you need to... Alright. Do this? Alright, no. I need to go... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you gotta do that. Oh, that rail. Yeah, that rail. Oh. Oh, yeah, we'll use Sonic, I guess. Actually. With Sonic! That away. Wee. What about how they had this music for uh, for like a stage in um, or like a mini game in uh, in like that Sega Tennis game? They did? Yeah. Huh. I remember you were making the joke like it just it didn't didn't fit the yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean why not? I said that already. Well, oh, they were saying it because you weren't in here when they said it. Well, you can, you can attack that thing with Sonic. Like after you do the tornado thing, after they take a million years to heal up. The GameCube version of this glitchy. I think. I don't think the GameCube version was. The, I mean, like, it kind of was. Now, the PS2 version was especially. Now, where is this switch supposed to be? Right up there. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Why are all the Tails ones not at the top of this flight? They're always like a little below. Yeah, that's all I was mentioning earlier. Oh, I didn't do that. It was funny. You know what's really funny about Sonic um, uh, uh, Lost World is that, uh, did you watch Jay's review of that video? No. Or that game? No. So, well, it, it wasn't from his video. I was just wondering if you knew anything about the you know, the game and stuff, but like, anyway, so there, there was a, there's a, um, there's a, uh, uh, Texas, what, there's, uh, apparently, um, with Sonic Lost World, that was the first time that the that the writers of the like the the American version, like in the in Sonic Colors and in Sonic Generations, they had new writers, but they were fo kind of following Japan like Japan's thing, like their scripts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, Sonic Lost World was the first game where they wrote, where the they the English team wrote the uh, um, the story mm -hmm. and the writing and stuff. And it was apparently, it was so bad to the to Sega of Japan that they made their own script. Like, you just saying cutscenes, but they made their own script. And honestly, I mean... The, the, Which I'd known this was coming up. Yeah. Well, it's not like, it's not like you were... It's not like you could have known. I mean, it just, it just kind of happens. Yep. Yep. Could get some rings there. I'm trying to get away. I tried to get away, but they were all like in this big cloud around me. <laughs> but yeah, so. 
And like, and I remember the there was an interview with the, one of the guys who who wrote for the for uh, Sonic in that time, and the mostly in the 2010s. Oh yeah, watch out. Um, yeah, there there was a time when when like like uh, whenever they were writing for them in the 2010s, um, there would be a thing. Okay. Um, and like the the really um, and I remember he was trying to say he said like some of those fans were fine, but there's a lot of them that are idiots, you know. After he was done writing for them and stuff. And it's just like, well, maybe you could have wrote a better script there. I mean, I understand that it wasn't 100% their fault for the way Sonic the Sonic characters were. Because some of that was because Sega had changed, like, the, what do you call it, the character bible for them? Whatever you call that. I think you gotta hit that to play that switch. Um, sorry, I forgot, I just kind of went on auto autopilot. Let's go! Um... Anyway, uh, Knuckles. Knuckles. Where are you going? He won't look back there. Okay. Yes. Uh, anyway. So... Anyway, yeah, but, uh... I understand that it is, it is partially Sega's fault. It is somewhat Sega's fault, or Sonic Team, whoever, was changing their character bibles to make the characters bland and, and stupid and cringy. Um, but they could have done a better job. The writers still could have done a better job of what they had. And they didn't. I, th I found out, though, the guy who was calling the Sonic... The, uh, the Sonic people idiots and stuff. You know, some of the Sonic fans idiots. Um, I found out that uh, he was like one of the head writers or one of the major writers for uh, uh, back when uh, uh, Happy Tree Friends was a thing. I was like, oh, he just doesn't know how to write a script. <laughs> he just knows about animal gore and uh, cutesy little animals getting cut up. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, he wasn't the only writer, but, you know, I mean, like, he was still one of the head writers of, like, Sonic, I imagine also Sonic Forces, but, like, I know he was for, uh, Sonic Lost World, and that's why the story and writing was just so cringy. You can jump, you can jump on the thing there, there you go. Oh, that's good. Um... Looks like we have to activate all three switches. But yeah, so, um... So now you're back to where, uh... We can just go ahead and use that, Andrew. You'll build up enough by the time we get to that one place. Are you sure? Yeah. I believe it. Are you S H U R E sure? <laughs> okay. But anyway. So. So yeah. Um. I can't remember the guy's name. Cause I. Uh, Cause if I remembered, I would tell you all to go after him at his house and all. <laughs> um. And, and Sonic. And why? Well, I was looking to see if there's anything over there of interest, but I guess not. I will, I will tell you if there's anything of interest. You know, I'll look for myself, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm a grown woman. <laughs> <laughs> there is a key way down there. Where? Well, you passed it already, but, you know, whatever it is. No! But also, we're gonna try to get him as if we—if you really want to get him, we're gonna try to get him as Team Rose. There's robots everywhere. Oh, I do, I do want to get him. But yeah, so um, 
Yeah, I, I, the guy, the guy can say what he wants. There, there are some dumb Sonic fans. Don't get me wrong, but there's dumb fans of any fandom. Um, I'm just saying that, you know, I was just saying like, well, maybe you should. You know, I'm just saying maybe that guy should have just wrote a better, had better writing. Because it is possible to, to to make something good out of even if they wanted. For some reason, for Sonic to be the way he is and Tails to be the way he is, blah blah blah. Still could have, still could have wrote a better script, wrote, wrote a better story. It's almost like if, well, sometimes I know this would be the other way around, but like it's almost like if you get a bad, like a a bad script, but you acted out very well, which I guess you could say maybe Roger Craig Smith could have done a better job of that. But you want to talk about a badly written script that was very well acted? Yeah. We bought a zoo. Huh. A movie with uh, uh, well acted with a bad script. Oh yes. Based on a true story. Oh, I, I don't think it was. I think they said it was based on a true story. Really? Now, when they say that, that doesn't always mean that they follow it almost word for word or anything like that. I think it just means that they, um, I think that just means that, like, you know, this, the concept and everything is based on a true story. Like, you know, some events have happened, some of these are true events and blah, 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 but, like, really happened, but they Hollywoodize it, so... Yeah, but that was that was a very well acted bad script. There they are. Now remember, don't use the thing just yet. Leave them to me, Sonic. Just, 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 just remember. I'm not a retard. You're almost there, but not quite there, right? It's funny whenever I heard the word like. Uh, Whenever I heard uh, Drake, whenever Josh was asking what he was doing, he uh, said, why are you putting on that parachute? He goes, to retard my fall. And of course, my middle school, or, yeah, my middle school mind was like, wow, they said retard. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now, if you win this fight, but you end up losing again, going back to that one checkpoint, I'm taking over. Wow, you, you had a team blast there. You got a team blast, so you, so you can use it if you die again. But yeah, I'm, if you if you lose this next part after this, I am taking over because we're not gonna waste any more time. <laughs> that was one, oh well, you got a checkpoint. Yeah, I may just go die and lose all my lives out of spite. You do what? I may just go die and lose all my lives just out of spite. Man, you lose all your points too and you get a lower grade. Day carrier. That is cool that they actually mentioned previous games. How? Anyway, um. How? How what? Which one have the egg carrier? The egg carrier is nothing compared to this. It's compare, not compare. It's the yellow laser. Andrew, we're talking about the same one that had look at all those Eggman's robots. <laughs> it's the blue laser. It's the red laser. Oh no. It's the laser. Only four lasers? A hero laser? Why isn't it spelled with a Z though when it's Zer? No one says laser. Uh, well, because laser stands for. Uh, is it light amplifier? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I mean, like, I feel like that would have been a part you would forget about, like, you would have to jump over or something. Light, light amplifying. Uh, let's look it up. You know what? I'm gonna run off to the side. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh. Ugh. Your laser stands for 
40 points. Shoot. Amen to that. <laughs> Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Why couldn't they call it a uh, lot uh, of Zim st Zim still it? <laughs> Zimulated? That's like it's like somebody's pronouns or something involved there. Oh yeah, that's true. Z was so stupid on. Classic, the classic villain type, the ones that mention that they are evil, and nowadays everyone just sees themselves as a version of good. No, how I just like anti-heroes more. Why? Like, anti-heroes can be fine, but like, what's wrong with the traditional hero? Like the traditional Superman? Uh -huh. Well. Studio suggestion. O.J. Simpson, but but Cameron did not believe that Simpson could be believable as a killer. I was just thinking of that mo because that, that's where they mentioned. Um, take this. Take this. Take this. Dang. Charge. Doing much damage. Isn't this great? <laughs> He's still going. Take this, take this, or something like that. They were like, uh, and they're saying, "Sir, we're done recording. You can stop it. Take this, take." I go mentioning another Let's Player again. That's, that's, that was supposed to be the early days. It wasn't. That's not it's supposed to be now. What? What? Yes. Take this. Take this. I won't go down that easy. Let's see. Oh, no, he's not quite dead yet. Dave. <laughs> I wonder how Eggman survives all these explosions. Even though that it actually is an Eggman, but you know what I mean. Like in the other games. You're going to pay for this. You're finished, Eggman! Eggman. Eggman. Hey, Sunk. The amount of the amount of emblems we have now is able to drink. I don't know. Legally. It's like this was like the phase between the Dreamcast game. This really feels like the phase between the Dreamcast games and the modern ones with the cutscenes. Yep. Yeah, not really. Why are these so quiet? Sonic with his lack of mouth. There are the other characters with a lack of mouths. Oh, 
Yeah, they kind of went backwards with Amy's character in this game. Who fell down below? Sonic, he's on the go. He's, he's kind of got a voice like that. We've got some friends along. Jim Sinelia or something. I think that's the good. It may not be the guitar guy, but. Well, you know what it should be doing? What? It should be uh too fast for the naked eye. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Sonic, he can really. <laughs> <laughs> Meow McDonald. Is it is it Vision's uh is it Vision Scape or is it Vision's Cave? I don't know. Or Vision's Cave. No, Ape. Theme song, Vision, Sonic Heroes Vision's by Crush Forty. We can it's, like it. It's Vision's yeah. Ape. <laughs> Wait, why did they put the credit for what I made of when it hasn't played yet? Well also the other ones haven't played yet. Oh no. <laughs> That would be kind of interesting if the credits progressively went through based on how much the game we've beaten. I'm wondering if we should do uh, Chaotix next just to get that out of the way. I mean, not today, but you know, not for this recording, but next time. It's a, it almost sounds like they're saying we can make it if we don't stick together. <laughs> Yes. Divided we stand, united we fall. I, I guess he's. <laughs> what the ever is that? Who is that? I don't know. Bradley shared that one, but yes. <laughs> Cause that's what I saw at first, it's just that. Just legs. Yeah. <laughs> There's a picture of like a, I don't know, some actress or model or something that is like, had absurdly tall legs. These, this song's kinda gay. Oh, I know. But it's funny to imitate his voice. Sonic. At the Sonic. end, oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, this actually came out originally in. A, I don't know another story, but but why? But why? Sonic's the only good cat. Mm -hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um. There, so um, right. I like how Team Chaotix is like the one where you actually get more information. Yeah, I know. Don't do that next. Oh, I know. We gotta use Team Dark next. Dark. 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 Anyway, so, um. So, yeah, so thanks for watching this, and next time we'll, we'll either. We'll do one of these teams, whatever we just officially decide. Ugh. Um. But until next time, folks. Andrew's got a message for you. That's kind of what I was thinking. We'll see you next time.